Welcome to a short video summary of the Sony HT-ST5000. You can read the full in-depth review via the link in the description or by clicking the card at the top right of the video. The ST5000 is Sony's first soundbar to support Dolby Atmos and it retails for £1,499. The soundbar itself is reasonably big and is intended for larger screen sizes. It has an attractive but simple design with a black brushed metal finish and an excellent level of build quality. Sony claimed the ST5000 can deliver a 7.1.2 channel Atmos experience and to do this there are seven forward firing drivers and two upward firing drivers which bounce sounds off the ceiling to create the overhead channels. Three of the forward firing drivers have high frequency tweeters. These have gold trim which denotes that they support high resolution audio. The ST5000 also comes with a wireless subwoofer that has a black finish and curved edges to match the main unit. The sub uses a forward firing driver and a large downward firing passive radiator. All the connections are in a recessed area at the bottom rear of the soundbar and here you'll find an HDMI input and an HDMI output facing sideways and two more HDMI inputs facing rearwards. All of them support 4K, HDR and HDCP 2.2 and in the case of the output ARC as well. There's also an optical digital input, a 3.5mm analog jack and an ethernet port along with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. This allows the ST5000 to support Sony's Music Center multi-room system. On the right hand rear of the soundbar there are some basic controls for power, source select, Bluetooth pairing, music services and volume. There's also an included remote control which is Sony's standard AV system controller making it reasonably large and comfortable to hold. It has all the buttons you'll need to control the soundbar and they're all laid out in an intuitive fashion. There is a simple display on the front of the soundbar which shows the source selected, the volume and any sound modes. There's also a fairly comprehensive on-screen menu system that makes setup relatively easy and straightforward. In general use the ST5000 delivered a great performance with TV programs and movies. Dialogue was clear and focused whilst music and effects were spread across the front soundstage. The audio was clean and detailed and the Sony could go loud without distorting and had no problems filling an average sized living room. The bass performance was good thanks to the well integrated subwoofer and overall the sound was balanced with a solid mid-range and good high frequency response. The ST5000 also performed extremely well with music, delivering good clarity and localization of instruments which is great if you plan on using the multi-room features. Where the ST5000 struggled was in terms of delivering an immersive audio experience with very little sense of surround envelopment. Although there were overhead effects, the soundstage was very front heavy with no real audio coming from the sides or behind. However, if you're looking for a single soundbar and subwoofer solution that can also deliver a taste of Dolby Atmos without requiring rear speakers, then this might be the system for you. And given the build quality, features and overall performance, we're happy to award the Sony HT-ST5000 an AV Forum's recommended badge. If you enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe. You can find more reviews, news, articles and videos like this at avforums.com. Europe's largest community for TVs, home cinema, movies, games, tech and gadgets. Thanks for watching.